That way? Hold it right there. What's your business in this city? You one of the refugees? There's been an awful lot lately. Has there? Hi. Just last night, a whole carriage of Marathi. And you let them in? Those I did, yep. But that's because that woman leading him claimed to know Farlan, the mayor. Didn't believe her at first, but she wouldn't let it go, and asked us to send... Well, so that we did. Turned out she was right. The mayor asked to let him... Well, I'm not a refugee. <laughs> you know what? I even believe you. And what's your business? I'm looking for work. Sellsword, are you? Huh. Well, then I suggest you go talk to old Ramsey. He's in charge of the militia. He might have some work for you. Go on inside. Just behave yourself and you'll be fine. Corporal? Everlight. I didn't think I'd set foot in here again so soon. Have you been here before? A long time ago, yes. That was still during the wars. It looked quite different at that time. I can imagine. It's certainly massive. Not even Finn and Mir comes close to that. It's Hope. The one you've been having since your childhood? I've been thinking about it. Have you? Yes. These strange, human-like puppets you see in it. They might be a way of your mind telling you that there's an aspect about your flesh, your body, which you haven't come to understand yet. Where did you get that? Well, becoming a light mage involves a lot of introspection and journeying into one's mind. But then again, dreams are enigmatic. I might be wrong. We should get moving. Interesting. Looking for potions and scrolls? I'm sure I have just what you need.
You know how to bargain, don't you? Yes. Yes? What's next? Yes, yes, come closer. I'm sure I have just what you need. Come again. May Tiara yes. bless your path. Uh-huh. Yes? What is it? I need your help. What happened? Who are you? 
Rohesia. Rohesia Tanner. I have a small farm just behind the city walls, which I run with my husband. Thing is, he's sick. Stomach cramps and fever. Ever since- What village? Some muck heap in the middle of Leonider. Leannon- I'm not sure I'm the one you should talk- Oh, come on. Do you really trust these quacks? A friend of mine once went to one of them with a gash on her leg and came- Well, then- Well, that's where you come in. Holy Frank, the world-renowned traveling healer, was in town a week- Ugh, Of course, these so-called doctors have nothing comparable in their satchel- And you want us to find them- That's it. We'll make it worth your while. We have a lot of surplus vegetables and grains we'd be happy to share with you for your help. I'm not sure how much use we have for surplus vegetables. Well, I'm not swimming in riches these days, so I'm afraid I can't offer you anything else. I must say, I'm a bit disappointed- All right. Oh, yes, of course. I've already put one together. All right. Where is your- Just under the south wall. You can't miss it. Tiara's blessing, soldier. You're doing the right thing. Quite the character. A good deed a day keeps the dark ones away. Can't hurt to help someone every once in a while. Now would you look at that? Looking for potions and scrolls? I'm sure I have just what you need. Farewell. Let's see. Armors, shields, everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. Pleasure doing business with you. Come again. I'm getting new wares by the next moon's turn. Uh, something you need?
Just give the word. Yes. daggers, swords, everything for the wary traveler. Good choice. Interesting. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Come Fair take well. a look. I'm sure I've got something that might spark your interest. No, Penelope. You cannot do this to me, he loudly screamed, full of pain and anguish. Penelope softly cast him a mournful glance. Her eyes dreamily drifted off towards the merciless and cold winter sky. But I have to, she silently whispered, full of remorse. Her tender breath tenderly caressed his haggard cheekbones, mockingly. My heart beats with yearning when I see her sweet and lovely face. For you, oh, my former beloved, my feelings resemble the deepest depths of the deep sea of dreams, but alas, I am still young. I want my heart aflame, burning brightly like the fires of Zarek. She, oh, my former beloved, is the spark that shall kindle my desires. A bitter tear bitterly flowed down Bartekius's face. As if slyly commenting on his endless, horrible suffering, the wind howled mourningly in the distance. A storm would come. If that is your wish, O oh beloved, Bartekius vigorously ejaculated, full of loving acceptance. Then I shall accept it, for I know that true love knows no malice, no jealousy. True love knows love, and love only, ceremonially. He boldly knelt down in front of her and took her soft and tender hand into his equally soft and tender hands. Uh, Zestfully, he said. There you are. I came as fast as I could. In a safe place. Not the most beautiful part of this city, but it'll do. For now. Ah, and I sent Ralph to an apothecary. Despite the fire nettle? I see. How was well, since you made short work of the general's army, it was all... I only wish we hadn't lost so many people. Either way, that's not why you're here, right? Allies. Does that mean you'll... Yes. In fact, I've already told him about you. His name is Philan Argyll, the mayor of this city. beloved. Goodbye. You're friends with Everlight's mayor? Well, friends is a big word. Let's just say that he still owed me a favor. Will he meet with me? Yes, just go to his house and tell the guard that you're... So, 
I guess this is where we part ways, isn't it? It was a pleasure to Likewise. What will you- Play it by ear, I suppose. That's what I've always been good at. Now would you look at that? Interesting. State your business. Whose house is that? If you have to ask, you sure as heck don't belong here. Sod off. State your business. Clara Farland sent me. Huh. The description fits. Fine, go on in. Argyll is waiting for you. Let's see. As a free city, Everlight's leadership is not chosen by the right of blood, but elected by the town's nobility. The most recent mayor, Fulan Argal, has been in power for over seven years now, and is known for his endeavor- Huh? Now would you look at that? Interesting. Well, well, if it isn't the notorious betrayer's child. I always wondered what you looked like. I had something, but let us cut to the chase, shall we? Clara has told me you're looking for an ally. What else did she tell you? Not much I didn't already know. Who you are, and you- You don't? No. The less I know, the less dangerous our cooperation is for me. Also, I fully trust Clara's judgment. For a simple village mayor, Clara has a lot- of Simple village mayor? Is that who she is now? Amusing. Well, who is she? Someone who was once very powerful but decided to quit. That's all I can tell you without her consent. So, can you help us? I believe I can. Let me introduce you- Come on in. Tahar, this is Rowan, leader of the Wayfarers, one of the most able mercenary groups on EO. Rowan? Tahar. Tiara's breath. I... take it you were acquainted- Wait, this man used to be my father's right hand during the Mage Wars. He was the one who told him of my plans to leave the Rebels. Hmm. Interesting. Don't act so surprised, Argyll. You knew of my past. And you also know that I'm the only reason this war is over. If I hadn't told the Crown of Asamo's attack on the Keep, he would have won. So yes, Tahar, you're right. I told Asamo about your betrayal. But ever since then, I've tried to repent. That doesn't bring Zane or Helena back to life. <sighs> Look, you're angry. And after what I did, you have all the right to be. But this is not the time for discussion. So, please, let us just put this behind us, even if it's just for now. Let us, let the Wayfair- Who in the blazes are- Mercenaries, as Argyll said. Mercenaries? Yes. 
But that's just how we pay for our shelter. Very poetic. He is. Tha hmm. So you warned the Royal Army of the attack? Yes. It took me some time- But please. I can tell you all about this, but not now. Not here. So, this army of yours, what can you offer? Knowledge, tactics, swords. Whatever it is you and the Harbinger need to end the Bloodburn, we'll help you. I can't afford an army of mercenaries. I'd have- You don't. I will cover all the- You? What? As I said, I owe Clara. Also, it's not as if my wealth and my power protect- Fine. But we'll have a lot to talk about. Yes. Well, that's settled then. But as much as I appreciate your presence, I would like you, Rowan, to hear, and your soldiers, to an army this size of the Wayfarers will draw. You're right. Goodbye, then. It has been my pleasure. Of the few refugees who make it to Everlight, many are shocked to find that their troubles do not end there. Though its neutrality as a city state left it largely unscathed during the Mage Wars, the city has its own mountain of problems to struggle with. The biggest ones being the ever-growing gap between the rich and the poor, an uncontrollable rise in crime, and the purity of life. Uh-huh. Let's see. Yes? Do I know you? Greetings, milady. Could you spare a moment? I'm here to discuss it. We're really doing this, aren't we? Um, sure. What is it? Well, even a battle-hardened warrior such as myself there is honor in a battle, yes. But is honor alone enough to keep a man go- You, fair lady, are my glimmer. <sighs> I... I don't know what to say. Say nothing, fair lady. I know my passion is overwhelming. All I ask for is a strand of your golden hair to remember- I understand. Yes, of course, honorable soldier. Who am I to deny you? We are only doing our- <sighs> Such you may, or you may not, but I will- <sighs> <sighs> Okay, let's just forget this ever happened, all right? Fine. Wrong place, wrong time. I'll keep you shielded. All right. Get ready.
more fighting. Does this never end? You got it. Ha! Ah! They will fall. Danger up ahead! Got it. Here we go. Sounds like a plan. Nowadays, few people remember the reason for Everlight's wealth. The glittering mine. For a long time, it was believed that moon silver, the most precious and most durable ore of Eo, could only be mined. Oh, yes. Two corpses, and they show symptoms of bloodburn. Now, would you look at that? Let's see. Sure. More fighting. Does this never end? Will do. You read my mind.
Sounds like a plan. You got it. I'll keep you shielded. All right. That way? Now would you look at that? This way, right? <laughs> Blasted armor. Let's see. Understood. Fair enough. Let's do this. Fine. Ah. I'll keep you shielded. There goes nothing. Now would you look at that? Got it. That's the way. More fighting. Does this never end? Up ahead. Is this is this really sounds necessary? like a plan? Sure. Mm -hmm. Got it. 
Will do. Sure. <laughs> Blasted armor. Whatever's necessary. So, what's the plan? They will fall.
interesting. That way? Oh, Please, oh, yeah. that thing's huge. This way, right? All right, why not? Shielded. Now, would you look at that? That's the way. That way? Will do. You got sure. it. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Blasted mm -hmm. armor. 
Sure. That way? This way, right? You got it. Sounds like a plan. Got it. Sure. Uh, all right. Why not? Mm-hmm. Will do. You got it. <laughs> Blasted armor. That way? Sure. Mm-hmm. 